Hi and welcome to seating here on Devon's Jurassic Coast. I've just arrived on a little bus trip from Somerset from Wellington. I'll tell you more about that later in the video. I've been to Seaton a few times before. I've done walking videos from here. My very first ever video was from Seaton. I walked out to Lyme Regis. But today I'm not really here to do walking or to spend time on the beach so much. I just thought I'd come have a look at the town because I realised I have no clue what's in Seaton town. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a little wander around the town. I've previously done a video about the Seaton tramway, so I'm going to link to that one at the end. I'll show you where it is as well. That's a real good thing to do. But anyway, let's have a wander along the beach for a bit and then we'll head into town and I'll show you a little bit what you can see in the town. So Seaton Beach is, well, pebbles really. <laughs> it's all pebbles, there's no sand here. Lots of crunchy pebble walking to be done. And I love the sound of the sea as well. It, you can just hear it. Can you hear it? They're just bringing you all the pebbles as it gushes in. That's what I mean. I love that sound. So we're having some very mixed weather at the moment. This is a day at the very beginning of August in 2024. So we've had some lovely hot days, but as you can see today, it's a little cooler, but it's lovely and refreshing down here. It's a little bit of a damp, drizzly day today, but I thought, you know what? It's my day off of work. I'm going to head over to Seaton anyway and just enjoy it. It was forecast through blue skies today, but it just didn't happen. I'm noticing that there's lots of matting down and I'm guessing that that's for accessibility for people who use wheelchairs or push chairs things like that i think that's absolutely brilliant so they can come down on the beach so just to get your bearings to the right of us just in that direction is beer and in the other direction is lime regis I, as i said my very first video was walking on the undercliffs path from seaton to lime regis I did that video again last year actually because well my very first video it makes me cringe to be honest so I re-recorded it last year when I would had a bit more experience so I'll link to that one at the end of here well because it was raining when I first got here I headed straight to a coffee shop I had a little wander around the town and I discovered there was quite a few to choose from actually lovely independent ones but in the end I went to one called Tide right on the seafront and I had a lovely bacon and egg bath in there. It was very, very delicious and a good strong Americano, which was exactly what I needed this morning. Just walking along behind the beach huts and down this section of path here. Across the road, we've got the Seaton Tourist Information Centre. And just there, they're building something. I have no clue. I'm going to look up for you and let you know what they're building here. I'll show it to you at the moment. So there seems to be a lot of development going on in Seaton, which is great. There's been several new developments recently, I believe. But this one, I can't find any information about at the moment from my quick glance online. So if you know what it is, can you let us know in the comments? That would be really helpful. Thank you. I'm guessing it's apartments rather than a hotel. Anyway, let's head on into the town, just a short walk away. I think we'll take a walk through the park and then head on to the um, cultural quarter of the town. See the bus stop there on the front? That's where the buses terminate. There's some gardeners working here at the moment, but I believe this is like a small outdoor theatre. Almost like an amphitheatre, I suppose. You can see like seating there. It's a lovely position for it. So from that theatre, the open air theatre, I'm just heading up these steps. I believe they should lead us to the gardens. And there we go. And gardens, got a clock tower as well. It's a jubilee clock. I'll tell you a little bit about that when we have a look at it. Got a nice pond here as well. 
See, this bit of seating I hadn't realised existed before. I've only ever been to the seafront and used it to walk from the seafront to different places. So it's really nice today to have a look around the town. So the Jubilee clock was built in 1887 to commemorate Queen Victoria's Golden Jubilee. In the foundations, a hole was cut in the stone and a bottle was placed with Jubilee coins inside. This is the Bowling Green. And then up there, there's like an indoor plantaria. I'll show you in there in a minute. And there's also a children's playground. I won't go too close to that for obvious reasons, but yeah, that's what's up there. We'll go and have a look up there in a minute. Lovely architecture around here as well. It's a nice notice board here in the gardens with information about the gardens as well. You might want to stop this video and pause it to read all about it. Can't really show you too closely because it's children playing, but just behind me there's a putting green. Just behind me there you can see a children's playground as well, very well equipped. So this is what's here, you've got a nine hole mini golf course, two tennis hard courts and there's refreshments at the pavilion as well. I'm just spotting nice things as I walk around like this bird nesting box. There's another one as well, there's quite a lot going on here actually. It's difficult to film here because there's children around but you can touch things, see things, smell things. And what was the other thing? We need to look at the signpost. See things. Touch a sound, sight and smell. So let's go and have a look in the greenhouse. I think I just spotted some goldfish. It's very nice in here. It'd be very pleasant to spend some time here on a rainy day. Oh wow, massive fish. There's loads of goldfish and that huge thing there. I don't know what it is. It's really massive. Oh, there's a few of those big fish. Whoa, I think they've seen me. I think they're hoping for food. Very nice. Lots of exotic things in here and lots of cacti. Looks like little pears or something, doesn't it? Hanging from this one. I suppose they're flowers. There's them just opening up up here. So just come around to the gate near the clock tower. You can see there's like a water refill station here. You can top up your bottle of water. And I think across the road, if we cross the road, that should take us into the cultural quarter. One thing I meant to say earlier, it's looking so floral in this town. I don't know if it's a special event or whether it's always like this. I'm just amazed by the amount of flowers down by the beach as well. There's just flowers everywhere. It's lovely. It really, really brightens it up, especially on a dull day like today. So I've noticed a few like independent craft places and arts places. Um, you've got some really historic buildings around here like this place called the Malt House. It actually used to be a malt house according to the blue plaque on the wall. It's a 17th century building. We'll take a look around here, but I might have to go find somewhere for coffee again soon because it's, as you can tell from my hair probably, it's starting to rain. Just over the road there, we've got the Gateway Theatre. There seems to be absolutely loads going on there. And then next door to it is the museum. 
The museum looked really interesting actually. It was open when I came past this morning and I believe it's open later this afternoon, but unfortunately it's not open at the moment, but definitely worth investigating. So let's head over to the tramway. I'll show you where you can get the beautiful vintage tram from. There also looks to be a really exciting place about dinosaurs next to the Seaton tramway. So when we get down there, we'll have a look at that as well. So the signposts are pointing us down towards the beach again, towards the seafront. So a very, very short walk from the seafront. We've got the Seaton tramway. And then just around the corner, you've got the Jurassic Discovery. We'll go and have a look at that in a minute. But first of all, let's go and have a look at the Seaton tramway. I have been here before, as I said, and I will attach a video to the end of this video to show you what it's like. But we'll go inside and have a quick look. That's where you buy your tickets from in there. There's a coffee shop in there as well. I love these trams. They're just so, so pretty in a way, I suppose. That's a good way to describe them. So there's a route map as well. It goes through some gorgeous countryside. I wish I had time to go on the tram today. I absolutely loved that ride. I'm definitely going to come back here and do it again. It was such a beautiful ride through the countryside. I thoroughly recommend it if you're in Seaton, definitely. And do watch my video, as I said. But I'll turn to the end of this one. So we've got Seaton tramway here. And then just across there, we have got the Jurassic Discovery soft play cafe and walk with the dinosaurs just sitting on a seat outside the um, Jurassic Discovery Centre I can hear lots of roaring of dinosaurs I believe there's like dinosaur animatronics in there as well well I've got just under an hour until the bus home goes it's the last bus it goes at 10 to 3 just be aware of that if you are doing this day trip from Wellington and I think what I'm going to do now is head down to the harbour it's Axmouth Harbour so come with me and we'll go and have a look at that so walking past the tram station and we go through the sort of Tesco -y area and head down to the harbour that way. So Tesco is right next door to the Seaton Tramway really. So you come out of the Tesco car park and there's a Premier Inn just opposite. So we follow this road past Premier Inn, probably for about eight or nine minutes and just around the corner should be Axmouth Harbour. And here we are at Axmouth Harbour. Oh, this is so nice down here. I think, I think I'm going to have to come back here and do another video because, because I have to go back and get my bus. As I said, the last bus back to Wellington is at 10 to 3. That also applies to Taunton as well. This is a real working harbour down here. You can tell that by all the, the nets and the trawling stuff around. I don't really know much about fishing, but I love this sort of environment. It's lovely. Um, Thanks so much for watching. I'm going to have to get a move on now and get quickly back to the bus stop over by the Seaton Tramway. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you a little bit of a flavour of Seaton. That it's not all about the beach, which I kind of imagined it was before. So I'm really glad that I came out here and explored it. There's so much more to see as well. I couldn't show you everything. So do come over here and explore it for yourself if you get the chance as well. As I said, there's loads of shops I didn't show you, there's some churches and things like that. There's a lot of history around here as well, so definitely recommend a little trip over here. But watch out for that video from Axmouth Harbour very soon. Bye for now. So just in case you're thinking about getting the bus over here, let me just tell you. Um, it originates in Taunton. Uh, I picked it up in Wellington at just gone 9 o'clock in the morning. It takes about an hour and 45 minutes to get out here to Seaton, but it's a beautiful journey. It goes over the hills and goes through places like uh, Honiton. It went through Hemiok as well. Some really pretty little villages along the way. So it's a, an experience in itself, a really nice bus trip. So do consider doing that if you want to come over to Seaton. Otherwise, it's a nice drive. I've done it a few times myself, but I really like the bus route.